Hello class! Welcome back to our math lessons. Today we are going to be reviewing double plus one math facts. Let's take a look at some of them. 9 plus 8 is 17. 3 plus 2 is 5. 7 plus 6 is 13. 5 plus 4 is 9. 8 plus 7 is 15. 6 plus 5 is 11. 7 plus 8 is 15. And 4 plus 3 is 7. We're going to take a closer look at some of these double plus one facts. Let's take a look. Class, we're going to take a look at some of these double plus one facts. Hmm. As you're looking at them, some of them might seem very similar because these are switcheroo facts. Hmm. This one says three plus four. Do you see a fact that looks very similar to it? Hmm. Not six plus five, or eight plus seven, or four plus five. Oh, wait a minute. Three plus four and four plus three are switcheroo facts. We've just taken the numbers and switched them. These are going to have the same answer. Let's take a closer look. These two double plus one facts are switcheroos because in both of them, we are adding a four and we're, and we're adding a three. On this one, we add the four first, four plus three. And four plus three is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another way to think about it would be we could do doubles. Three plus three is six, plus one more is seven. Now, on this problem, we actually add the three first. Three plus four. Hmm. Huh. Is that going to be different than this fact over here? I didn't change the numbers. I didn't add any or, or take any away. There's still seven. Three plus four is seven. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does this math fact have one that's similar? Can you find it? Well, let's look. What about, oh, we found it right away. Five plus six is a switcheroo fact to six plus five. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at these facts. Here we have the math facts, five plus six and six plus five. They are switcheroo facts because they both are adding a six and they both have a five. Well, let's do this one first. We have a five first. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to add six to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five plus six. Well, we can just take our smaller number and double it. Five plus five is ten. Plus one more. You're right. It's eleven. Well, let's count it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five plus six is eleven. Hmm. What about this math fact? I would need to switch a of my numbers and have the six near this number and the five near this one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, I didn't take any blocks away and I didn't add any, so I can just switch a my number over here. Six plus five is 11. Here we have seven plus eight. Hmm. Is it similar to five plus four? Mm, no, not really. What about eight plus seven? <gasps> Do you see it? There's an eight in this fact and a seven in both of them as well. These are switcheroos. 
Let's take a closer look at these facts. Well, here we have 8 plus 7 and 7 plus 8. In both of these facts, we're adding a 7 and we're adding it to an 8. Hmm. Well, let's do this one first. 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 7. Well, we could just count them. Or we could think, we'll take our smallest number. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus one more. That would be how many? 15. 8 plus 7 is 15. Well, what if we switcheroo? Boop. And instead of having 8 plus 7, we have 7 plus 8. Is that going to have the same answer? All that I did was switch our numbers. I didn't take any away and I didn't add any. So just like 8 plus 7 was 15, 7 plus 8 is going to be 15. These are switcheroo facts because 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 1 more is 15. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 1 more, 15. In both 5 plus 4 and 4 plus 5, we are adding a 5 and a 4. Hmm. In this question, we have 5, and we are going to add 4 to it. 5 plus 4. Well, the one thing that we could do is we could just count them. 2, 4, 6, 8, plus one more. 9. Hmm. Or we could find our smallest number, 4, and we could double it. 4 plus 4 is 8. Plus one more, 9. Let's switch around and look at these facts. 4 plus 5. Hmm. All I need to do is switch these around. 4 and 5. Do you think that my answer will change? All I did was switch these to match the, f the train of 4 with our number 4 and the train of 5 with our number 5. Look at this. I can just move this over because 4 plus 5 is 9. Just like 5 plus 4 was 9. Class, thank you so much for reviewing your facts with me today. I hope that you have a wonderful day, class. Bye-bye.